you can use flashback database, you can use it without compromising your standby. That's the good part here. So what you do is you need restore points on both the standby and the primary side, that's important. And you first do any actions on the standby and then on the primary, that's also very important. You use guaranteed restore points also on the standby database and please don't rely on the propagation. With 19C restore points get propagated to the standby automatically, but you create a guaranteed restore point on production and propagated will be a non-guaranteed restore point. And this is very misleading. Uh, maybe this has implemented this way to not give you like space trouble on the standby. Yeah, but it's like, do it manually by yourself. That's the safer way. So how do you do it? How is the flow? We have on the one side, the primary, on the other side, a standby. So I told you, on the standby first. So we create the restore point on the standby first. Then we create a restore point on the primary side. Now we go into flashback. We shut down immediate the standby. Now we flashback on the primary. And then we can flashback on the standby as well. So this is how the flow works. If you follow that advice, everything goes well. If you said, hey, broker, please have a nap, sleep a bit, and we talk later, because the broker does not support that action right now. So you must silence the data gut broker. You must shut it down during these flashback operations, because otherwise the broker thinks, hey, something is really wrong here. Let me change that. Uh, let me interfere. We don't want this. So keep the broker silent, shut it down bring it back afterwards and all is well. So what you do here is on the broker configuration files, um, check where they are and recreate. In our opinion, this is the best way you recreate the broker configuration afterwards. So create configuration at the databases and then enable the configuration. In database 19C, this is new here, you can export and import a configuration in the data guard command line interface. That's quite neat actually. How about RUC? You can use flashback database as well when you have a RUC database, no worries here. Also it works here, but you should do it only in one instance, please. So one instance should be up and running and then you issue or you initiate the flashback operation, okay? And of course, when you do that, you should also take care on the ESLV CTL configurations. So you need to stop all instances and mount only one instance, like in the first block here. Then you flash back your database, flash back in the higher release, all the database open reset logs in the lower release. And then you start the database now with all instances again in the previous home's environment. <laughs> 